y'all good morning good morning my tiktok world today i am making breakfast for bae hopefully you can hear me i just got through making breakfast but it wasn't what she wanted so i gave it to my son i had a breakfast sandwich with avocado turkey bacon eggs and cheese on a bouche bun and so now i'm going to make a sandwich out of using a bagel so I'm hoping that this turns out right. As you know, on my recipes, it usually be the first time me testing them out. So y'all got caught me in the lab on this morning. So welcome everybody. I'm just gonna take a cutter, get my bagel, and hopefully, I hope y'all can see, it goes through. I wanna make a bigger circle because I'm gonna add the bacon. Let's see. Welcome. I'm going to add the bacon, so you just push through with a cookie cutter. It's not that sharp, so I started it, and what I'm going to do is get a paring knife and just pull the rest of it out. Y'all going to see me with my mumu dress on this morning. That's what us housewives do. We don't be sexy all day. So, so because it didn't go through all the way, I'm just going to take my paring knife and just cut the rest on through. Okay. Yeah. It's easier to, when you um, have it down because I'm trying to show y'all. I can't accept you right now, boo. I'm sorry. When we talking late night at live with conversations with Shreen and Crystal, I can have you join. But I need my hands right now and my full attention because I don't want to cut myself. Go back and look at my recipes today. I uploaded my um, gripper salmon toast. That one right there is a keeper. Your spouse, your loved one, your woman, your man would definitely be wanting more after that. So, I put my hole in the middle of my bagel. It might be too big, but <laughs> I just thought about it. It just might be too big because I just cut the whole bottom. Not paying attention, paying attention to y'all. I'm going to do it. I told y'all it will be the first time. But I still want to try. No, I'm not. I'm going to let that one go. I'm going to start over. Because I just realized I'm not going to have anything for my cheese to get hard on at the bottom. So I'm going to open up another one. But I'm just going to keep the top part a little open. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take off my bottom, put that on the side. And... Try to make the top a little bigger, just so I can fit the bacon and the egg in there. Not the bottom part, as we just saw. These bagels aren't as fresh, so that's why it's a little hard. I bought these from Walmart. I normally don't use them. It'll be the last time. So there we go. There's the hole. So it should be like that. Okay. On our inside of our bagel, I'm going to use my country crock butter. I love using country crock. It's the best. In the meantime, I'm going to put about one tablespoon of it inside of a bowl. I'm going to melt it because on the top, we're going to make our own everything bagel today. Walmart didn't have any at the time, so I'm going to make my own. Let me put this in the microwave. I'm going to butter the inside of this bagel using a butter knife. Let me get that butter out. So I melted the butter. I'm going to butter the inside. I would have been done with this sandwich by now. So pardon me. 
doing the live talking slows me down. And then I can't see all of you, but thank you for joining everybody who's on, getting my live time in. So I say, I might as well just tune in and y'all can watch me make a bagel. Later on, I'll start doing one-on-ones where y'all can come in and ask questions while I'm cooking. But for now, this is what we doing. Okay. So now, there we go. On the inside of my bagel, I'm going to add some garlic. Do I have my garlic powder? No. I have some onion powder for now. I don't want to go through the season and be on here too long. Okay, so onion powder, make sure you add your garlic powder. For now, I have some bread seasoning that I got from Publix. I like using the, you can use the Sicily, Sicily blend, the garlic rosemary blend, Parmesan flavored blend, the Tuscany blend. I use a lot of this on steaks. You will never know that bread seasoning is the best on meat, especially steaks. So I want a little color. So I'm going to add this on the inside just to make sure it tastes good. There you go. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. There you go. All right. So I'm going to place that back on top. Try to make it nice and pretty. So there we go so far. And now it's time to finish this off. At the bottom, oh, I lined a sheet pan with some parchment paper. I have some triple cheese cheddar. Put that at the bottom of where you're gonna have your bagel. I already put the stove on, the oven on, 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's how your cheese should be. Sit your bagel on top of the cheese because I want the at the bottom of the bagel to get that nice burnt cheese crust. All right, spread it out evenly. There we go. And have some turkey bacon, maple turkey bacon. I like it nice and sweet. They didn't have any beef bacon, so this is gonna have to do. Just break it in half. And you just stuff it in the middle of the bagel. I'm gonna use two pieces for her, for my wife. This is her breakfast this morning. And she normally doesn't eat turkey, but today she's gonna eat some turkey because she don't eat we, she doesn't eat bacon. We don't eat a lot of red meat around here. So that's why you see a lot of my dishes are pescatarian. And if I do red meat dishes, it'd probably be a recipe just to show you all, but that's it. So that's how it should go inside. And now, I'm going to crack an egg. When you crack your eggs, make sure you look inside because if it's um, blood inside and you put it on your food, it's going to be too late. So never over your food. Look to see if any blood or look, any little chickens because sometimes you can open it as a chicken, a dead chicken inside your egg. So try to get the um, vegetarian, no cage, cage free eggs. I use brown eggs, I didn't have any today. And then you just put that in the middle. Ooh, that was a lot. I shouldn't have used jumbo. So because this is overflowing, and I can do this. I didn't want to use that much eggs. I should have used a small egg, not a jumbo egg because a jumbo egg is going to be too big. So I'm just going to take my paper towel and clean some of this up because it's gonna be scrambled eggs everywhere and that's not what we want. Eggs are so slimy. Ugh. Okay, but my bagel is gonna look pretty <laughs> because the egg whites are now over it. You can actually pick it up if you want and place it on the side. That's what chefs do anyway. And I can pour out some of this egg if I want to. There we go. Pick it back up, put it back in the middle. Okay. 
See, when you do, when you going live, anything. Hey, Gigi, is that my Gigi for Kara City? Anything could go wrong in the kitchen, but everything can go right when you know how to maneuver. I'm just gonna clean this up because I really don't want to heat this egg up, and then I have white scrambled eggs everywhere inside of my presentation. But I do want a little bit of this egg white. I think I took out too much. So I'm just going to add a little bit more in the center. It looks like something. <laughs> this is foodie fetish, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to be nice and PG today. Let me wash my hands. <laughs> I don't want to cross contaminate nothing with that egg. So I'm going to add a little bit more of this cheese at the bottom because I wiped it off. Yes, I want it to be nice and crunchy. There we go. It's going to be so pretty. Yes, it is. It's going to be beautiful. All right. All right, I would have used some American cheese on it, but it was too late. Now for the, oh, yeah. All right, so now take that butter. Can you see? The melted butter, put it around the bagel to help that the toppings of your everything stick. That's what we want the toppings to stick. So I have some sesame seeds. And you just sprinkle. Making our own everything bagels. Ooh. I'll wash these tops off when I'm done. Some black sesame seeds. I got white, black. Minced onion. Oh, it's gonna be so pretty. And some poppy seeds. Make sure if you're not you're doing a drug test, don't do it. You know how that is. Oh, it's so pretty. And I'm gonna put some chives. I love chives on bread. That is so pretty. All right, let me wash my hands. Okay. It's the only thing, because I'm a girl about presentation, I don't want all the seasonings on my egg, so that's what I'm scooping off the egg yolk. So when it bakes in the oven, you can see a nice yellow center within your breakfast bagel. So, hope you all can see it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm all about presentation and a final look. So I wanna make sure that everything looks pretty. So that's what I'm scraping off that. All right, so you see? And so what I can do, cause I like seasoning, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the Sicily blend on the edge. Only because that helps season my egg too. And instead of using salt. Oh, that's so pretty. This is going to be pretty. And I'm going to top it off with some cheese. And woo, this is like, this is so fun for me, y'all. This is art. This is foodie fetish. And your spouse is going to appreciate the effort that you put. Okay. Trust me, they do. That's why she loves me so much. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna pop this in the oven and I'm gonna clean up. So hold on tight. Yeah, so this week's recipes went very well. And you wanna make sure 
that you log on, subscribe and share the voice. Thank you. That looks good. Yes, it does. It. Listen, this is nothing compared to the um, salmon breakfast that I posted on my page today. That one right there is, is delicious. I have so many recipes I haven't uploaded yet, which I am. Um, I have Vietnamese, Chinese, um, some smoothies, some sex on the <laughs> sex on South Beach. That one right there is a memory. And I talk about Miami a lot because I am from Miami. I'm currently in Georgia. Happy fifth day of Pride Month, you all. And I lost my um, charm bracelet doing the nasty on South Beach in college with my baby daddy. So my father had purchased me a bracelet and he was like, what happened to your bracelet? I guess he go to know now. His daughter was trying to be a little frisky little girl, woman at that time. And I lost my bracelet. So it's nothing. I don't know. I always love, I always love the love romance and sunset, sunrise. And you know, everybody loves South Beach. I, I think it'd be overrated, but that's just Miami, the palm trees, the sun. And that's how I came up with that smoothie. It's so beautiful. I have raspberries, blueberries, mango. I have my Cuban flavors in there because you cannot go to Miami and not experience Hialeah Cuban. So even though I was raised in Kara City, my mom transferred me to Hialeah High. So I went to Kara City High School ninth and 10th grade. She transferred me my 11th and 12th grade because they were they were lit. They were on the fence, kissing, hunching. It was a lot. You look lost. Follow me. I'm not lost, baby. I'm not lost. But she wanted <laughs> that's the pen. She wanted me to get a better um experience being around other cultures. And there I absolutely was afraid at first, but I loved it. I loved it. I learned so much. Everybody was, it was, it was a different culture. I was so used to just passing, you know, making C's, going to school. Them, they, they wanted to commit themselves, commit suicide if they got a C. Everybody was getting A's. Everybody, most of them had their own cars going off campus. And we didn't have that freedom at my particular high school. So when I got there, it was a culture shock. And I didn't, I never experienced that before. So, during lunch, we would leave campus. We would come back across the street. As I spoke on one of my posts, it was a place called La Pelota. They had so many food varieties, all kind of food. I fell in love with Cuban cuisine, my high school, my my tenth, my eleventh and twelfth grade year, and so that was the year I decided to run for homecoming queen. I didn't win, but I was the one. We were two of the first African Americans that ever made it to homecoming court. Me and this other girl. So I was going to accept you, but it's too late now. And um, yeah, we both won. So me and another individual won on the homecoming court. They had events like autumn capers. We had dances. They had barbecues. When I say my 11th and 12th grade year at Hialeah High was pretty good. It was pretty good. But you got to make um, life what you want it to be, you know, so... That's the taste of Miami. So today I'm taking y'all to Cuba. That salmon bagel. I, I got that salmon bagel when I was working at a company delivering groceries. I'm not going to name the name. And those haters out there was jealous because I was making 3000 a week, killing it. And it was like, it's impossible. How could she be out there making this kind of money? Getting up. I'm a chef. It's not hard for me to go inside of a grocery store and pick out groceries. And I got so good at it. I was flipping orders. I was like, oh. I could make $40 uh, order picking up groceries. So I doubled it. I was making $80 or more an hour. So they called in on me, got my, got my ass fired because <laughs> they thought I was doing something wrong. No, I'm just freaking smart and I'm good at what I do. It's not hard to pick up nobody groceries and drop them off really fast. And so, yeah, I was, made, I was killing it. And so while I was delivering the groceries in Coconut Grove to the rich white people majority of them was not my color and i would always look inside they would have housemaids and have people taking care of them and they would serve they would they would always give them salmon toast and um 
They were real bougie and they always had the uh, golden retrievers sitting, living, living life better than us. And I say, when I when I get my own or when I become wealthy, I'm going to make me some salmon toast because that's just the lifestyle that I desire. And I say, I'm going to have me. I'm going to wake up and have me some salmon toast. So I don't have my maids, but I guess I'm my wife's maid. So I make her her salmon toast and I make it nice and pretty. And that's how we that's how I came up with it. And this is one of the best recipes you can possibly eat. You can have it with poached eggs, avocado. They always was ordering hot avocados, hot avocados. Cuban people love some avocados. Not even Cubans, Jamaicans too. Let me check on this bagel in here, y'all. Woo! It looks good. Okay. I'm gonna take this out halfway so y'all can see as I'm talking right in my mouth. Look how pretty y'all. Gorgeous. It's gonna be a beautiful breath. What I wanna do now, cause this is a bagel and I don't want it to get hard. I'm gonna turn on my broiler so the top of this egg can just say poof and finish on off and the, and the cheese can crunch up. <laughs> it came out right. This is my first time making it so I didn't know how it was gonna come out. But it's pretty. I think she's gonna like this this morning. Let me get her coffee. It's a must. My wife loves coffee in the morning. I don't know if it's a New Orleans thing for her mom, her father. She's like a little old lady. That's well, her parents is 71, so she has a lot of tendencies like that. She wants to drink her coffee in the morning. Let me get her coffee, her sugar. So this is a great, great um, sugar substitute. I might do that this morning because we had a lot of desserts this week. And then I try to keep things a little healthy around here. Just the two of us. <clears throat> you can make if you try. Y'all can have your here singing. <laughs> oh no, I'm happy, y'all. I'm happy. Thank you all for staying. Thank you all for staying. I got 127 likes so far. Okay. Okay. Give me some hearts. Give me some roses. I love roses. I love roses. Oh, that's the um, pen again. My birthday is coming up August 3rd. Go send me some roses. I know my baby planned something for this um for my birthday. She tried to surprise me. She want to give me a new chef jacket, custom made. So if there's anybody that make custom made chef outfits, let me know. My wife wants to make me one for foodie fetish with the nice rainbows around the color. And yeah, Pride Month, I guess. Let me check on it again. It smells so good. It smells so good, y'all. Let's see. It smells so good in here. I don't know. I don't have anything else I can make for y'all. I done made everything else this morning. Today was an easy day. Tonight, I might do some Chinese rice tonight because I have some chicken breast in there fried with some fried rice. I did the um, teriyaki, no, the honey garlic chicken wings. I'm going to post that video. I have the crispy shrimp rolls that I made out of that that I made look like roses. I have that recipe coming from you for you all. The honey garlic chicken wings I'm putting together now. I'm almost through editing that. Only problem is is trying to edit everything fast enough, and then y'all want me to write down the recipes and the ingredients. That's what slows me down. So, yeah, trying to juggle it all. 
What else we have? We have our Chick-fil-A meats, Popeyes, chicken sandwich recipe coming out. We have, I'm trying to think, we have another breakfast um, quesadilla that I made. It's a lot, y'all. It's a lot, but it's coming. I'm getting it together so y'all can see. I'm getting together so y'all can see one more time. And I think we're going to be done on this one. I'm going to have to warm this coffee up too. I'll be getting booty patches. My my baby, you see how I get booty patches because my dress always go butt. So sorry, y'all. I put you in. Yes, honey. So there we go. There we go. It's so pretty. And I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit, y'all. And then I'm going to put it on the plate and tune in so you can see the final presentation of my basil in whole. That's Foodie Fetish, Chef Sharina Robinson. It was fun talking to y'all until I tune in live again. Peace out. Follow, like, subscribe, and share. Definitely on YouTube. It has longer videos and shorts. Bye, y'all.